If Friday was the day when protesters took over Copacabana, today is the day for those who want to enjoy the beginning of the Olympics. As you can see, there are long, long queues of people here trying to get tickets to the beach volleyball competition here on Copacabana Beach. It's one of the favorite sports of Brazilians and Cariocans, the people of Rio, and they are here wrapped in their flags and wearing their colors to cheer for their team. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. We will never have the Olympics here again. This arena was just finished five days ago, but despite all the fears that things wouldn't be ready, this Australian couple says they're impressed. So far, great. You know, like no traffic. We were lucky from the airport and we made it in time for this game, so we're happy. But not everyone was so lucky. Organizers were forced to apologize to those who missed part of or all of the events they'd paid to see because of the long entrance queues. Part of the problem was the breakdown of x-ray machines at the Olympic Park, which allowed many to go in without being screened, a serious breach of security. Right. There are problems with all games. Uh, they get sorted out, these will be sorted out, and uh, we look forward to that. I'm not belittling them, but I think we have to put it in, in context for teething problems for the beginning of the games. There is, of course, heightened security all over the city. But compared to the Olympic Park here in Copacabana, it's fairly discreet. And the atmosphere, very relaxed. In other words, very real. Almost every block you see police or the National Guard um, stationed to protect the city. We feel very safe. All around town, people were watching the games at home or at bars, like Maria Santusa. Brazilians love to imitate foreigners, but at our opening ceremony, it was all Brazilians and it made us proud. <laughs> Next week, Brazil's Senate will almost certainly vote to move forward with the impeachment trial against suspended President Dilma Rousseff, proof that not even the Olympics can put Brazil's political crisis on hold. But right now, right here, there is a sense that love of sports is what's taking center stage. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Rio de Janeiro.